Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Smash Cucumber Salad. That's right, out of all the various culinary techniques, I would say smashing is probably the easiest to learn and most fun. And by utilizing this very primitive technique, we're not only going to relieve a little bit of stress, we're also going to transform the always boring cucumber into something that's actually exciting. And I know that is hard to believe, but it's true, as you will hopefully find out. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by prepping our cucumbers. And by prepping, we mean smashing. And the variety I'll be forcibly flattening today is the English cucumber, which is my favorite choice for this since the skin is very thin and tender and not too bitter. But having said that, any variety of cucumber you like to eat will work here. And what we'll do before we start smashing is cover this with a piece of plastic so as to hopefully minimize potential splattering. And then once that cucumber's covered, all we need to do is smash it flat using any kind of flat, heavy object. Like for example, this meat pounder. Okay, other popular choices would be the flat of a cleaver or even a small potter pan. It really doesn't matter as long as our cucumber gets smashed as shown. So you decide. You are, after all, the Gallagher of which smashing tool you prefer. And then what we'll do once our cucumber's been successfully smashed flat is unwrap it and cut it up into smaller pieces, which I'm going to make, I don't know, about an inch to an inch and a half wide. And of course, you know the drill. The exact size doesn't really matter as long as you pick a size and stick with it. And in case you're wondering, the reason we smash the cucumbers is threefold. Okay, we're doing it for appearance and texture, but most importantly, we're doing it for flavor. Since believe it or not, if we smash our cucumber before we cut it, it will actually have a different and what many people consider a better flavor than if we didn't. Okay, a good analogy would be how we prep our garlic for aioli, where instead of slicing or chopping, we actually crush the garlic, which ends up bringing out a lot more flavor. So while not exactly the same, that's sort of what's going on here. But anyway, I went ahead and smashed and cut up two English cucumbers, at which point we're going to want to transfer those into some kind of strainer set over a bowl. Because the next step, while not as fun as smashing, is almost as important. And what that entails is sprinkling over some sugar and salt over our cucumbers. And then taking a spatula and mixing that very well. And then what we're going to do once these three ingredients are combined is set that in the fridge for anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes. And during that time, the sugar and salt's going to draw liquid out of the cucumbers, which will drain into the bowl below. And that's going to accomplish two things that I will cover later when we pull this out of the fridge. So for now, let's just go ahead and transfer that into the fridge for, like I said, between 30 and 60 minutes. And while we're waiting, we can go ahead and mix up our dressing. And no, to answer your question, I do not get free beer sent to me because I show it in my fridge. Not that I wouldn't. I'm looking at you, every beer company in America. But anyway, we'll pop that in the fridge and move on to the dressing. And we'll start with some crushed garlic in a mixing bowl. And then to that, we will add some rice vinegar, as well as a little bit of soy sauce. And then we'll finish up with the last two ingredients, which are a little touch of sesame oil. And that is a key ingredient here, so don't skip that. And then let's finish up with some chili flakes. And my favorite variety to use for this is Korean chili flakes, since there's no seeds. Plus, they're not too spicy, which is why I'm not adding any cayenne. Okay, don't forget, we're making this to serve next to hot, smoky, maybe spicy meats. So not only do we want that contrast in temperature, but we also don't want the spice level fighting with whatever we pair this with. But regardless, no matter what chili you decide to use, all we need to do is give this a quick whisk, and that's it. It is ready to dress our cucumbers with. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and pull those out of the fridge and see what they look like about 30 minutes later. And as predicted, that salt and sugar has drawn a lot of liquid out of the cucumbers, which not only is going to improve the texture and concentrate the flavor, but also apparently a lot of the stuff that makes a cucumber bitter is in that liquid. So mission accomplished, and we can now go ahead and transfer our drained cucumbers into our dressing, and we will go ahead and give that a mix. And theoretically, as soon as this is all combined, and we've tasted and adjusted for seasoning, we can, if we want, go ahead and serve this immediately, which, according to many smashed cucumber salad aficionados, is the best way to go. However, other cucumber smashers, such as myself, think it's better to leave this in the fridge for about 30 minutes so that our cucumbers have enough time to mingle with the dressing. So that's what I do. After mixing and tasting for seasoning, I'll go ahead and wrap that up and pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and maybe even give it a toss while it sits. And I'll probably touch on that in the blog post. I mean, I gotta write about something. But either way, whether you let this sit in the fridge for a little while or serve it immediately, we will go ahead and transfer that into some kind of serving container. And then one optional step, I like to grab a spoon and spend about 15 minutes moving around individual pieces of cucumber so that they look perfect for the pictures. 
And then once that's set, I do like to spoon over a little extra dressing. Although a lot of the experts say to serve it drained. I always like to have a little something at the bottom to dip in. And then last but not least, we will finish up with some toasted sesame seeds. And that's it, our smashed cucumber salad is ready to enjoy. Which is probably best done with a fork. But I decided to go ahead and impress you with my chopstick game, which is pretty strong. Don't let the fact that I stabbed that first one throw you off. But regardless, no matter how you decide to get this up to your face, you are going to be very glad you did. Okay, obviously this is cold. And thanks to the salt and sugar in the draining time, nice and crisp. But above and beyond the temperature and texture, the flavors here are so bright and fresh and vibrant and addictive, it's actually hard to eat slow. Unless, of course, you're using chopsticks. But anyway, the point is, this is shockingly delicious. And all thanks to a little bit of smashing. Of course, having said that, only a crazy person is going to sit and eat a whole bowl of cucumber salad by itself. So once this video ends, I want you to start brainstorming exactly what you're going to serve this with. And I'll give you one idea to get you started. And that would be some beautiful, sticky, smoky, barbecued baby back ribs. So that really was an amazing pairing, as are so many other things that are going to come off your grill this summer. So I really do hope you give this a try soon. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. <laughs>